January is known for being a month of ambition, intention, and it's a fresh start. Resolutions sometimes get a bad rap, and it can be frustrating when we set a lofty goal that we fall short of. Resolutions are still around because it's a form of self-improvement, and it's something that we can all strive for even if we don't get all the way to the goal. I'm Auntie Sarah from Coffee Craft, and today I want to show you how I crafted habits to build a strong community and support network of friends that I plan to have until I'm old and gray. While I do that, I'm going to craft up a card for my brother's birthday, and if you like this design, you can get it for free for the whole month of January if you head on over to coffeecrafters.org and sign up for the email newsletter. A few years ago, I chose to make my resolution to actively make time to connect with my friends. I'm lucky to have friends who've been around for decades as well as those entering my life who I'm excited to learn more about. One reason I chose this resolution is that I noticed a pattern in myself. October through November, I'd host or attend parties and celebrations, but by the springtime, that usually held a lot more solitude for me. On one hand, I found that to be a good time to recharge my social batteries, but on the other, I noticed that I felt lonely and I struggled to find the next event to look forward to. As a quick aside, I did want to acknowledge that January is a month where suicide rates are high. While this is a sobering topic, reaching out for help and checking in with family and friends can avoid devastating outcomes. If you or someone you know are struggling with mental health crisis, call or text 988. Suicide is not the answer, and there is hope. Since my resolution from a few years ago seems to be growing well for me, and it's helped me to maintain a large community of different friends, I thought I'd share the plan that I made for myself, consisting of reunions spaced out throughout the year, as well as monthly or weekly catch-ups. In the springtime, I travel across the country to spend my birthday with Auntie Christine and her family at Disneyland. I see a set of friends for a girls' weekend trip to craft in a cabin, and I plan a Memorial Day weekend to see my high school friends as a yearly reunion. In the summer, I spend more time regularly playing sports or hiking locally with friends. I plan beach trips, and I plan some camping, too. Autumn starts the season of more traditional parties and celebrations where I generally see my family more often. I have yearly trips and reunions spaced out throughout the whole year so that I can reconnect with high school friends, college friends, newer adult friends, and my family. This helps me have something to look forward to throughout the year, and it helps make sure that years don't go by without me remembering to talk to people when my life gets busy. While these bigger trips and parties give me something to look forward to, I find that I need some more regular connection as well. I have people in my life who want to share a similar habit to me, so we plan to do that together weekly. I virtually spend time with friends crafting on Monday evenings, and I virtually spend time playing video games and watching movies or TV shows on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. And then on Fridays and Saturdays, I visit some local friends or I go on hikes to get some sunshine. I also have a few friends who like to get together to watch movies or play a game of darts. We try to get together monthly to do either of those activities, which always ends up being such a fun time. While these plans work for me in my life, I did want to add a couple of caveats. The first is that I didn't make all of these plans happen all within the same year and execute a whole bunch of different friend group management at one time. I started back in 2017 with just the girls crafting weekend. And then I added the high school friend reunion trip in 2018. We started up the crafting Mondays on 2019. Through 2020, we added some virtual movie nights and video games, the Disneyland trips and dart nights that happened in 2022. Secondly, not all of these plans need to be a big financial investment. I've been lucky to be able to plan trips to visit so many of my friends, but most of my time we're doing free activities. Hiking, dart nights at home, movie nights, game nights, they're all great options that are low cost or free. If you do want to travel to see friends, you could do something similarly to how Auntie Christine and I met halfway in Denver, planning the entire trip around when the cheapest plane tickets were that month. Thirdly, these plans for connections are something that I think will vary depending on your social meter. I see myself as a pretty socially motivated person, but I'm friends with both extroverts and introverts. I found it's important to talk to those in my life to find out what kind of activities and what regularity they're up to and respect it if they don't have time to see me as often as I would like. And usually that has very little to do with our relationship and a lot more to do with what's going on in their life. We're all trying to do our best to function in this world. And I think that's why it's good to have a large variety of people in your life that you're excited to spend time with. Fourthly, these are just placeholder plans, not something that should be causing extra anxiety. While I usually attend as expected, I also have friends that understand when I'm not feeling great, whether I'm under the weather, burnt out, or I just need a break. We always just plan to try again next time, and we all know the intention is to continue to stay connected. I plan to have these friends, and maybe a few more, by the time I'm 80 if I can manage it. Anyway, 
I'm excited to continue this plan for the seventh year now, and I'm excited to see how it grows as my community grows and changes over time. Thanks for watching today's video and by joining me in this crafty community, which has inspired me to create new things and strive for my own personal growth. I do hope that I inspired you to craft your own community with your own two hands. If you think I succeeded and you like this video, please join our crafty community by hitting that like button and subscribing to our channel. I look forward to seeing what we can craft together next time. Okay, bye bye. <laughs>